Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Dharadi. In this video, we are going to discuss in about Sonar Cubes as a service. How to set up Sonar as a service in Linux. Here, Linux is nothing but Amazon Linux, CentOS, Red Hat, Ubuntu. Okay. Let's see. What is the advantage of using uh, setup in service as a Sonar as a service? Usually, if you want to start and stop the particular sonar cube, you have to come to that particular bin directory, you have to select the particular uh, operating system, right? If it is Linux, you have to go to Linux x86. Here we have a sonar.sh file. You have to start and stop it. Currently, I am taking here. Okay, it is running. Now, if you want to stop, you have to use ss, ss sonar.sh and stop, right? Okay, every time you have to come inside the bin directory, you have to stop and start, right? Instead of that one, if you set as a service, okay. If you set up as a service, you can run this so Tom. Uh, you can run this sonar cube anywhere inside that particular server. Okay, you can start the particular sonar cube service from anywhere inside the server. Let's see how we can set up. If you remember, we have done the setup for uh, Nexus, right? Same process only. Okay, whatever we are going to set up, it will be applicable. It will be support for Amazon Linux, Ubuntu, Red Hat, and CentOS. Okay, for all same process only. Okay, here if you observe here, you need here you have to give the unit. Okay, here description what I'm doing, what I'm giving here, the version is 8.9.10, right? That's why I'm giving I'm giving here sonar 8.9.10. Okay, then after network, this is common and service type is forking, limit number of files is six double five three six. 36 this is also default comma and here it's very important our sonar cube is running as a sonar user right got it right our sonar cube which user is running it is running a sonar user so that's why we have to mention user and group sonar and so on okay i'm coming to the execute start and execute stop if you remember we set up same thing in nexus inside the opt nexus directory right same thing for uh, sonar cube OPT Sonar bin directory that is a Linux x86 64 bit and Sonar data search and I'm giving space start and I'm giving space stop same process only whatever we did in Nexus same process for Sonar keep also okay and restart always and install this one common just copy this one where we uh, keep it this uh, service level as I said like earlier you have to go to inside etc system D and inside the system and here, if you observe here, currently I am in etc system to system. Here you can create that particular file. I am creating the file. Okay. So another service. Okay. Now you can give the insert mode and you can copy this content and you can paste there. Okay, done. Now I am saving this file. Now if you observe here. This particular file don't have a execute permissions. I'm giving the permission using ch mode people seven phone order service. Here, if you observe here, we have given the phone order service. We have given read execute permission. Full permissions we have given. Can you please tell me how can uh, start the service? How can enable the service? Why do we? Uh, what is the main uses of enabling the service? If you enable the service, what will happen? Even you. Even you restart the particular sonar keep server, okay. That particular Linux server, it is automatically once the particular server is up and running, automatically service also will be run up, it will be up and running. Okay. If you enable that, if you are not enable, what will happen? You have to manually log into the particular server and you have to start the particular service. Example sonar cube. So, what I'm doing here, I'm enabling the service. Okay, how you can enable system CTL enable. Sonar, okay. Enter. Now, if you see here, created symbolic for the particular sonar. We have enabled it. Okay. Fine. Next, what I'm doing here now, I'm checking the status system CTL status sonar. Okay. Now, if you see here, it is showing inactive mode. The reason is we haven't started, right? Remember, when you are set up in when you are starting the sonar as a service, you should be manual, you should be stopping a bin directly. Earlier we have started, right? That should be in stop state. Okay. What you have to do? Go to here, OPT directory first. Okay. Then sonar bin directory, Linux x86 64 bit. Now here, SS sonar.sh. 
check the status. Now, if you see here, it is not running. Okay. In case if it is running, you have to stop this one. Then you have to start this particular service. Okay. If it is running inside the bin directory, if you are trying to start the service, it won't be run. Okay. So you should be stopped first inside the bin directory. Okay. Now, fine. Now I'm back. Now I'm in to directly now i'm i'm trying to start the particular uh, sonar cube let's see okay start sonar.sh system ctl start sonar.service okay now if you see here it is started let me check the status system ctl status sonar.service if you observe here now it is running if we when it was started seven seconds back it was started and if you observe here we have given the description right Whatever you given the description, that that the particular description will be able to see here. Okay. When you start, it will be execute the particular execute start uh, command. Okay. It is started. Okay. Got it right. Now if you see here, the particular sonar key will started successfully. Now if you go and take this public IP and you can verify, you don't require to enable the port number because we already enabled right earlier. Just I'm checking here nine three one zero. Now, if you see here, give the username admin password is admin other rate one two three. Okay, now we are able to log in also. Okay, got it right. What is the main advantage of uh, setting up as a service? Instead of going to run inside, if instead of going to inside the bin directory or run the particular service, okay, you can set as a service level. You can run the particular service anywhere. Not only Sonar Keep, you, you can set up an Nexus, Tomcat. Okay jfrog anything you can set up as a service level if you set up as a service you can run the particular service from inside the server anywhere okay that is the main advantage and also remember when you are setting as a service first you should be enabled the reason is in case the particular linux server in case if you restarted what will happen again this particular sonar service also it will be automatically up and running okay At automatically it will start and up and running Okay, in case if you are not setting as a service, uh, any, if you are not enable that particular service, what will happen? You have to log into the particular server and you have to start manually. So, recommended way, if you are setting as a service, first you should enable the particular service. Okay, got it right? Any questions? No, right? If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you next video.